All right, this is going to be so much fun. Don't you guys go anywhere because I have opinions. I have lots and lots of opinions and we're going to get into those opinions and find out what the very worst products in each brand are right now. Hey, my friends, just to disclaimer, don't nobody throw any rotten tomatoes or rotten eggs at the screen because this is just one woman's opinion. I don't like these products particularly. As a matter of fact, I think they're probably the worst products that each of these cosmetics lines have ever put out. However, if you love these products, keep loving them. There is no reason not to love them. If they work on you, I think that's fantastic. Half of the battle is finding something that works on our individual faces. So if you love something, just keep going with it. Now this is 20 products from 20 different brands and they are the ones that I picked out after my six years. A lot of them are mostly new releases really, but after my six years, I've picked out these ones that really just were kind of icky and I just decided, nope, those are yucky and they're gonna go to the wayside, but it's not all negative today. I am putting in a positive. Once I show you what I do not like at all, I'm gonna give you the alternative of what I absolutely love. And a lot of these are gonna come as absolutely no surprise to you because they are tried and true favorites of mine. However, I'm not spending a lot of time on each of my loves, just so you know that. Now, I'm gonna put a timestamp right here for you where the actual 20 products begins because I do have an intro always that I talk about different things in and it usually takes a few minutes. So that timestamp is right here. Go to that timestamp if you'd like to skip over this intro. First of all, in the intro, I always love to show you my t-shirt or my shirt, whatever I'm wearing, and I am in love. I just barely found this one on Amazon and this is like a dressy t-shirt that you could wear with a skirt, slacks if you have if you go to the office. And the reason is is because it has so much feminine detail to it. It is kind of a v-neck with the three buttons which kind of elevates it but as you can see right here it's just a t-shirt it's very stretchy it's very lightweight it is very true to size i wear a large i like to wear my t-shirts a little bit on the tighter side just personal preference there but it also has this fun neckline on it which is the ruffle and then it has the puff sleeve and the sleeve does gather gather right there midway on the bicep and my earrings i have shown before but they're one of my very favorite earrings they're a, uh, an enameled butterfly, butterfly up top and one bigger one that hangs down and then two um, like posts or um, gold like chains with posts on them down there. They're so much fun. They're not that heavy. I have to have a pretty light earring because I don't like to tug on my ears because I've seen too many people have the, ear the ears that are you know, almost pulled through. So I don't like to do that very much, but also most of the makeup that I am wearing today will be in the video. I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I have new fingernail polish on today. Yay for that. And I also have some rings on and a bracelet on. I'll show you the bracelet really quick. And all of those will be linked for you in the description box. Speaking of links right here on the screen is going to come up a number. That number will correspond to whatever product I'm holding up. Now I'm going to tell you that I'm I am not doing the products that I don't like. I'm not going to link to those because I don't want you to buy those. They're nasty products. <laughs> I shouldn't say nasty because some of you are going to get upset at that. But anyway, they're not the greatest products that I've ever used. So this number right here is going to correspond to the product that I do like. So you don't have to remember the product because we are going to go quickly, but you can remember the number or jot it down. Then go into the description box, open up the description box and find that number. Next to the number will be the good product with the link and you can shop that way if you'd like to. All right, that's the intro. We covered everything we needed to. That being said, let's get into the junky products, the yucky products, the icky products, whatever you want to call them. They're just not that good. Let's do it. All right. I do also want to tell you that some of these products I've already decluttered, but I have tried them all. So we're going to start off with the ColourPop Jelly Much Formula for Eyeshadow. This was the biggest mess to me. 
First of all, it was so liquidy that it wouldn't dry down very quickly. So I had it transfer up onto the top of part of my lid. It just was not a good look at all. And it would show up a lot of my texture. So no, uh -uh, I couldn't do that one. But I will tell you that the actual super shock formula from them is absolutely phenomenal. And I said I wasn't going to take a lot of time on the products I love. But this one right here, I'm just going to swatch it for you. This would make the most beautiful eyeliner. And these stick around. That one is coconut. I've had coconut in my makeup kit for years because um, I keep buying it. Even when it dries out or whatever it does, I buy it. It's so good. Okay, the next uh uh, no way, can't do it product is from Flower Beauty and it is their Eye Bright Palette. I bought this in three different shades, hoping that it would work. I wanted to try it out for you all so much. You never saw it because I don't like it. In this palette is a great concept. You have three different products that are the cream products. You have two different concealers and down here, your color corrector or your brightener, and then you have a setting powder. Great concept, right? Well, first of all, these products over here, the cream ones, they are so slick. And these two right here do not build up. So you basically are just waiting for the creases to set and they never do they just get deeper and deeper and the powder itself is super drying so i thought this is a really good concept i like what they're trying to do but no so the alternative to that is my tried and true forever and ever pixie by petra brightening color corrector and this one is so good um this is my brand new one i haven't even dipped into it yet because i'm trying to use other color correctors up charlotte tilbury but i really love this one and this is my third one and i will very soon be using this so i love 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 pixie beauty and their color corrector all right the next one lordy lordy this was so bad there's a lot of foundations in this video by the way this is the physician's formula butter believe it foundation and concealer in one okay first of all can you see how separated it is i don't know if you're going to be able to or not it is so separated it was extremely oily on my skin and this stuff i put it on and i kid you not within like three to five minutes it turned oompa loompa orange and it was bad <laughs> so it was like uh nope patchy yucky can't do it so instead go ahead and pick up one of my number seven lift and luminate serum foundations you all know that this is my number one foundation at the drugstore it won't it won't be your concealer too although if you don't have very you know bad dark circles it sure could be it's beautiful enough to be but it is such a better performing foundation than this i love it i rave about it all the time it is perfection. All right, the next one, you wanna talk about an orange mess? This one too. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 plus hour fresh wear foundation in a powder. This broke TikTok. I mean, they wanted it, they loved it. They thought, oh, nothing could be better. This is so drying on my dry mature skin. It looks terrible. Before I started doing myself tanning, the color of it itself, it just turned orange. It made me look super yellow. I felt like I was wiping off powder all day long. I could not get on board with this. So many people love this, but I'm sorry. It is not one that I can like even a little bit. But I did very recently try for you the Laura Geller foundations, her baked foundations. This one is the full coverage one. And then this one right here is the um, Pro Glow one. And these are in incredibly beautiful. And I had a whole demonstration of these and they really truly are something special. And I know these aren't drugstore, but you can get these on sale so many times on her website or sometimes you know they have flash sales on um, Amazon as well and yes yeah, skip over that infallible unless you are somebody that is super oily and you like to wear um, powder foundations anyway Ugh, yeah no I couldn't do it all right the next one I had really high hopes for because you know that I love LA girls shadow formula in their 16 pan palettes and their little nine pan palettes but this one is the dream glitter um iridescent liquid eyeshadow okay first of all it went on fine it was okay yeah i can already start to feel it dry down the thing is is that um it doesn't show this on camera because i'm kind of giving you a view like this but it when you look at it close enough, you need to put another coat on. So I went ahead and I put another coat on and I was real careful with it and immediately became patchy. And that was the hard part for me is that there were parts that had enough shadow on them. The next part, it just lifted the shadow underneath. The thing that just absolutely 
got me was that this dried down so hard and it was so just it was like concrete almost on my eye and as i'm blinking throughout the day little particles of it is falling off in big patches not just like little glitter particles big patches of that crap is falling off and i'm like ah, i don't think so but i did find very recently from nyx this is their ultimate glow shots liquid eyeshadow and i do like this one now i don't know about the other colors but i have this one color and this just coats in one coat it's very creamy now it does dry down but it doesn't dry down so hard that it feels flaky and yucky and it covered everything it was pretty and it felt good going on i didn't feel like when it dried down it just you know sucked the life out of my eyelids and you could see all my texture anyway so that one i did like so the next one i heard about from a YouTuber and she was comparing this to the YSL um, the brightener or concealer that YSL has and this is the eye bright um, luminous concealer from Re Make Revolution and so I was excited because you know that YSL is like super expensive this doesn't do a thing this is just water I am not kidding it I mean it might show a little bit of illumination there but even when I just Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you how disappointing this is. There is no coverage in this whatsoever. It will mess with, if you already have a foundation that you like on, it will mess with that. It will move it around. And it just defeated the purpose of covering my eyes and trying to get brightness there anyway. Now I will tell you what I do like is the Shape Tape Glow Wand from Tarte. And this is fairly good coverage. However, I just use this just to bring a tiny bit of light so i'll dot here and dot here and then just work that in it has a lot of lightness to it but what's nice about it is it has a tiny bit of coverage too this comes in so many different colors which i like about that too but you can see that it just brings brightness whereas this is there any coverage there no is there any you know is it's just messy and this is just kind of blending in with your concealer you already have or wear it as your concealer, but it does have that little bit of glow that if you're a little bit older, it can show texture. But as far as that brightness goes without messing up any coverage you already have on, this is a really, really good product. Oh my goodness, this one broke TikTok too. Okay, this is the Maybelline 4-in-1 Instant Age Rewind Perfector. It says that it's a primer, a concealer, a highlighter, and an, a BB cream. So many people love this. I'm sorry, I cannot get on board with this. The reason being is that this is so, huh, how do I put this? It's really slippery. And so when I put this on and then if I need more coverage and I go put more on of anything, like even if I put on a cream blush or a bronzer or whatever, it messes with that and this still feels super slick. So it feels like it has a lot of the di dimethicone in it. I would never put this up underneath my eyes. I think that it would just really make a mess with texture under my eyes. And I know so many of you love this and you couldn't wait to get your hands on it, but I have tried this, actually repurchased this twice, which is the dumbest thing I think I've probably ever done, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't up in the night about not liking it. But I will tell you that this one from Revlon, the Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer, I do really like this one. And it's the one that I have on underneath my makeup today. It gives a great glow. It's super light for summer. So if you don't like that heavy dimethicone feel like something like this might have, this is super light. It does its job about blurring out the pores a little bit, and it definitely does its job of creating that barrier which makes your foundation last longer i like that one. Oh, baby baby i think i could throw this one as far as you could throw it and still go pick it up and throw it further i don't don't like these undone beauty water things i i have a blush and i have a bronzer and first of all that's supposed to be a bronzer that is so orange i don't know if you guys can see that or not it's so orange it's just nasty and it really <laughs> It just keeps turning more orange the more you wear it. That one was a blush. Excuse me, that wasn't the bronzer. This one, I believe, is the bronzer. And you're going to see the orange again. It is so weird. And, you know, the concept of it being watery, actually, this one is just, yeah, all it does is just turn into orange. And I cannot figure out, I mean, look at that. It's dark as dark, and it barely puts any cover, uh, color down on my hand. No, 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 no. I, I'm pretty, 
underwhelmed by undone beauty i i sorry to say that they are not my favorite however if you want to look for something that is very super light and very airy and almost watery these milani blushes the um, cheek kiss liquid blushes it's what i have on today for my blush and they're beautiful i absolutely love this formula it gives you enough pigment that you're getting that brightness and yet if you want to you can sheer it out to be hardly anything but once this dries down it's there and it's not going away and you can see it that's like okay over here is that undone beauty one you can't even see it and then i put the milani one on and bam it's just pretty okay the next one i do not have because I threw this out almost immediately. It's the NYX Total Control Drops Hue Changers. Now, first of all, they made a mistake in not putting a blue in there, which we'll talk about in just a second, but they are the most watery, um, separating products I've ever used. I had a white and I had the dark one, and it did not work worth nothing. It was just nasty. I would have to put so much into the foundation that it would actually change the consistency of the foundation. And I didn't want that. I just wanted to have a little bit of correction on the color, right? Well, this was just ridiculous. And so, yeah, they separate in the bottle. It's almost totally water. It just is not a great product at all, but you know what a great product is if you've been with me for very long, and that is the LA Girl Pro Matte Mixing Pigments. This also comes in an orange and it comes in a yellow. I have white and I have blue. Blue is to take any of those orange foundations that you have and make them into the most beautiful cool tone foundation you've ever seen, and the white one is obviously to make a very dark uh, foundation go lighter, and these are great. Also, if you're somebody that has trouble finding a warm enough foundation, that's what the orange and the green is for as well. They're so good and it takes such a teeny tiny droplet that you don't that it doesn't mess with the foundation that you're working with anyway. So, yippee for those. I'm I love those. The next one, I may be going to get it for this. I don't know, but you guys may may feel this way also too. Wet n Wild about a year ago came out with their new eyeshadow formula and I know so many YouTubers that love these, but I am so sad that the one that the formula that they had right before this is gone. They completely revamped the formula and I don't like it. Now, my biggest one was Petalette. That is one that they redid and I feel like they completely messed that up. I, and so I went out and I bought, well, I think I bought three or four Petalette quads that you used to be able to get with this. This it this I could not build. There was too many glitters. The different formulas in like a 10 pan like this fell short. There was a lot of warmth in all of these. So it really turned very orange and I, I can't wear orange. It just doesn't work on my cool toned skin. Just a huge fail. And I was so sad because I was a huge fan of Wet n Wild's color icon before they did that. But the ones that I chose to show you today are the e.l.f. Little Bite Size Palettes. These are so amazing. I actually have on my eyes today, this one is called Cream and Sugar. It is a super easy palette for me to work with because I have my transition shade, my eyelid shade, and then my outer, you know, darkening shade. So pretty. And then I also have Truffles, Rose Water, and I See a U. And it is just they're beautiful. The pigment is great. It's there, but it doesn't hardly take anything to buff them out on your eyes. Pick one of these up at the price point. You just cannot beat them. And boy, they knock wet and wild out of the water every single time. I reach for one of these and I am never disappointed. All right, this junk. <laughs> I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this video. The Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. This is a mess. This goes on so patchy and clung to every single dry spot I had and it broke apart so fast and I could not wait to wash my face after I tried this. It was, it was icky, icky, icky. And so I want to just suggest to you that if you really like a light foundation like this, you might want to look at the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Now, I am not somebody that likes just a tinted formula. I like a little bit more coverage, but this is really good as far as what they're wanting to do when you just are somebody that just likes a little bit of evenness to your complexion and you don't really wanna go the full out foundation route. 
that's understandable, but this is a really good one for a substitute for it. And I feel like they did a great job in, you know, the hydration that this gives and the coverage that it gives. With two coats, you can get a really light to medium coverage. With this, you just get a light to patchy coverage and it just doesn't work. So definitely skip over that Revlon. You don't want to go anywhere near that baby. This one I don't have either. I know I have it, but I couldn't find it because I do put a lot of my makeup just to the side and kind of revisit it at times if I don't like it. This is the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. At first when I wore this, I thought I am going to love this. It went on really pretty and I was really happy with the results as I was wearing it. And an hour later, I flipped the visor down and looked in there and I was like, oh my goodness, what has happened? And I looked like I had Crypt Keeper eyes underneath there. I looked so old and everything was settled down there and I was like, oh man, why? You know, and you can't go home and wipe it off. So you got to just kind of mess with it and do the best you can at that point, which by the time you get home, you're like in tears because you just look like you're 40 years older than you actually are. Instead, save yourself some aggravation and try out the 18 hour Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. I love this. It is actually what I have on today and it just works so good. I have loved it for such a long time and it's one of those concealers that is almost like high end. It just performs so well. It sits down. It looks good on your under eyes for the whole day and it's not um, drying. And isn't that the biggest hurdle we have is that all of the concealers, you know, they want them to set down so that they don't crease on us. But when they set down, they dry so much that we end up looking like we're old. And so, yeah, save yourself some aggravation and just go get the Catrice instead. We're going to pause talking about the Yucky products for just a second because I only have 1,500 to go to get to 100,000, which I'm super excited about. So this video is a giveaway video, just like the last one. I will show you very quickly what you're going to get. You're going to get a Sigma liner. You're going to get a little Vice lipstick micro setting mist from e.l.f. Really good. There is a green mascara, their new mascara from Maybelline. I haven't even tried this one. I just thought you might like to try it. I also have one of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty primers for you to try. I have a Bare, Mindor Bare Minerals bronzer. This is a bronzer and a blush mix. And this one is in Kiss of Rose. This is my favorite color. And I think that you're going to love it too. I also have this beautiful concealer brush from Bare Minerals and I just, I had two of them and so I thought I would give the other one away. Also from Pixie Beauty, this is the Rose Essence Oil. This is a lovely oil that I use all the time. Kosas, one of their 10 Second Eyes and I also have an Ulta lip gloss right here and check me out. So... <laughs> Catrice hooked me up with every single color that they had in their line for their concealers. So you're not going to be getting this many, but I'll throw two or three of the concealer colors that you choose in there. Anytime I do a giveaway, I am not going to get you to go to another app. You will never have to pay me for the giveaway. I give to you. You don't have to pay anything. You just have to make a comment down below. That's all you have to do. And you have to be subscribed to my channel because I will check to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. But there are so many scammers going on right now that the only way that you're going to know if you won is to watch one of my videos. Now, I just announced another giveaway on my last video. So go over and check that one out and be entered into that one too. And I said in that video that I was going to announce the winner towards the end of the month in an Amazon video. That's what I'm going to do with this one too. So you're going to have to tune into that Amazon video. It will be right around the 1st of July that I will do that. Don't forget to, because if it doesn't come out of my mouth, that you're the winner, you're not a winner. And you just have to be really careful, guys, because there are tons of scammers out there and I don't want one person to get sucked into any sort of a scam. They will try to get you. All right, the number 13 I do not have because I did not pass go. It went directly to the trash can. And yeah, it was nastiness all the way around. And it was the Profusion Foundation. Now I talked about the Butter Believe It um, breaking apart and just not looking good on the skin. The Profusion was so greasy to me. 
and then I don't know how, but it became drier than crap. And so I would suggest that you go and you take a peek at the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. And keep in mind, I'm a very dry girl, so I'm gonna always suggest to you something with hydration in it, even if it is summer, because my skin does get very dehydrated even when the humidity comes in the summer. This is a beautiful foundation on, gives you medium coverage, and yet it just looks pretty on your skin. You just feel fresh for the rest of the day, like the name says. It's pretty fresh. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that one over the Profusion one. Couldn't do it. Uh -uh. So the next one I also do not have because it went directly to the trash and did not pass go was the Essence Matte or the Luminous Bronzers. Those babies are so orange. I am I am talking the worst Oompa Loompa orange you could possibly put on your face in your entire lifetime. They are terrible, terrible orange. But I do like and I do have on today. Now I am a little bit warmer in my complexion since I'm self tanning. So this one is the Heat Wave from Flower Beauty, the Luminous Powder Bronzer. And it's a baked product. It has the swirls in it. It looks super cool in the pan. It's not. It's not a very cool product. Um, and this is going to be hard for you to see because of my tan, but oops, let's find a place right there. So it is a little bit more along the lines of a warm bronzer, but it's much cooler than many, many bronzers I've ever had. And like I said, I do have it on my face today to warm up my skin. I didn't do, use any contour today. I didn't use anything muddy. This is just warmth on my skin and it comes from this. What else I like about it is that it's very luminous. It looks like you have a little bit of a glow. It's very pretty. Ooh, I'm going to get it for this one too. I don't have this with me either. The elf cc camo cream so many people love this foundation and i know i know i know i'm gonna probably get in trouble for this but i could not make it work it just looked really bad on my mature skin it looked like a thick layer of makeup and even though i do like a full coverage on my face I don't like my makeup to look thick and cakey and I just could not do it. And besides that, the colors, again, they were all very orange and I had a very hard time with it. However, Catrice also has the foundation that is the true skin. Um, this is the hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and it says it's long wear. I have this one on today mixed with my beloved number seven. And the reason is, is because my number seven was just really, really cool color, but this one warmed it up just a little bit. Well, it gives you the beautiful color coverage that you need without being cakey, without looking like makeup. It's just pretty on skin. And it's one that I have recommended forever and I will continue to recommend it. The next one I don't have either. However, the CoverGirl Outlast the um, matte lipsticks or the all day lipsticks that have the like lip paint on one side and then they have the lip gloss color on the other side of them. Oh my word, I can't handle that. That paint is so drying. Uh, it does stain your lips, I will give it that. It does stain your lips so you have the color on all day but the colors even change on me as the day goes on. I mean, it gets a little darker or that, you know, gets a little patchy. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan at all. And that gloss is so oily that I always had bleeds coming down. I could not do that. I know that it's so many people's formula that they've loved forever. I mean, it was one of the very first ones that ever came out with liquid lipsticks. So, you know, a lot of people still love it. But I really like the Maybelline New York. This is the ultimate um, lipstick, you know, this is matte. So if you have very dry lips already, you might not, you might want to put on a lip balm before or after or put a gloss on top of it. This is a beautiful color called More Mauve. And you guys know how much I love my mauves. And it's not super drying. Now I will say that it's not like a regular lipstick, but that's good because if you want something to stay on like the CoverGirl, then you want something that is more matte. But Oh man, those CoverGirl, I could never get on board. My mom loves those and I'm like, mom, you're 86. How do you even wear those on your lips? Anyway, she really loves them. The next one is from Koki and it is the Be Bright Concealer. Again, I don't have this one. It got, you know, down the, you know, garbage train on its way as soon as I tried it one time. And again, the most drying, horrific experience of concealer under my eyes. I just have to be very careful. If not, I am going to look so much older and it just... 
It's not a good look. Nobody wants to see that. So again, let's look to ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is a hyaluronic concealer and it is a very nice one. It gives great coverage and it does last all day. And it's one that you can put it on, set it down a little bit with either a setting spray or a powder and you're gonna like it. For me, it covers all the way and it hydrates without creasing. And I just really like that one. All right, the next one is the Milani Cream Blushes. Okay, when they came out with these, I the texture of them, I don't even have any, they're all gone too. The texture of them is so balm-like. It's like you could dip into there and put it on your lips and it could actually be a gloss, which would probably be the better way to use it than using them on your cheeks because by the time at the end of the day came, my blush just looked like it was just grease. And not only that, there was hardly any pigment to it. And I was really disappointed because it had been hyped up so much and I thought, well, maybe this is the one that's gonna be great for me. But sadly, no, it wasn't. Now I have discovered a cream blush that I do like. It's actually stick blushes that I am liking right now. And these are from Palladio. They're really pretty and they give you a really good amount of saturation. And they also have some that have a really beautiful highlight in them as well, like that one right there. And so these are nice. These are really nice. I actually just got these like two weeks ago and have been experimenting. And ooh, we made it to the last one. The last product that I would never recommend to anybody is any of Ulta's mascaras. I have tried, and I wrote them down, I have tried the Ultimate Lashes, the Lash Flash, the Twisted Volume, the Curled Up, the New Heights, and the Maximum Lashes. I've tried a bunch of theirs. And I actually have the Ultimate Lash right here. And no, it just, every single one has either been super duper clumpy. You can even see on this that the brush looks like a clumpy mess. What in the world? It's like there's no freaking stopper in there. What in the world is going on? I don't know. They always smudge on me. And if they don't smudge, they flake. So this is a big no-no. I do not like any of their mascaras. If you guys have one that you like that I haven't just said, let me know because I will go ahead and try another one. But if you are on the hunt for something that is a beautiful mascara, turn to Maybelline. They have great mascaras. They're really good. The Sky High from Maybelline. Now they have the deep, um, the deep, deep black one that's really beautiful. And my second choice in Maybelline is the Falsies Lash Lift. And I do have the Sky High on today. Um, and it just separates. It gets every single little lash and it makes them super duper long. That's just two coats of mascara. And I love this. So yeah, it's one of those ones that I think definitely stay away from something like Ulta's mascara. Do you know how much trouble I'm going to be in after this video. I'm never going to have another brand call me up and say, hey, we want you to help us out and try some stuff. <laughs> I'm brutally honest. I'm in the weirdest mood today, you guys. Hopefully everything was okay. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thanks so much for being with me. I'm going to throw another video up right here in the corner. Um, I'll put the video that I did right before this one, which is the video on the 20 best products from the 20 brands at the drugstore. So I hope that you did enjoy this and seeing the ones that I would choose instead. Please take care of yourselves. Have a great day. I love you much. And we will meet right back here just as soon as we can in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.